In March 2016, 35 people were murdered by Islamic State bombers here in Brussels, 20 of them down in this metro station, just one stop from the city's European quarter. Our prayers are with their families, and with over 100 who were injured here alone. Also in March, Downing Street organised a letter from retired military and intelligence chiefs extolling the security benefits of remaining in the EU. But then Sir Richard Dearlove, former head of MI6, and Tory Minister Dominic Raab said Britain would be safer outside. The arguments have all been based on material considerations, but we need to consider another aspect. What is the spiritual foundation and direction of the European Union? What drives its spiritual heart? After all, the Bible says, as Psalm 127, except the Lord build the house. They labour in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh, but in vain. The European Union have put up a parliament building in Strasbourg modelled on the rebellious Tower of Babel. Both in Brussels and in Strasbourg, the EU have erected statues to Europa, whom they identify with the European Union, being carted off and raped by a demon. And where was the EU's founding treaty and its failed constitution signed? On top of Jupiter's temple in Rome, Rome's equivalent of Satan's seat. In July 2005, Islamic bombers claimed 52 lives in London, including 26 on the Piccadilly line between King's Cross and here at Russell Square. But two weeks later, I believe as a result of much prayer, five similar devices failed to go off. The fact is, your police and spooks can be the best in the world, as the United Kingdoms are often said to be. But they still rely on the Lord, some say chance, I say the Lord, for things to go well, for inspiration, for breakthroughs, for coincidences, for being in the right place at the right time, for the bad guys to make slip-ups, for recruiting the right spies, for weather, even for a crucial traffic jam or change of the lights. If the Lord keeps the city, this stuff happens. If he does not, it doesn't. Murphy's law begins to rule, whatever could go wrong, does go wrong. Our government have made our national security dependent upon the Lord's attitude to the European Union. No, I'm not saying that everything the United Kingdom does is right and will be blessed by God. Of course we need national repentance and we need to keep praying for that. But I am saying it is better to be in a covenant relationship with the Almighty, as expressed in our coronation oath, than in an alliance with a union deliberately founded on paganism, celebrating man's autonomy and rebellion from God, while embracing the idea of Europe being raped by demonic power. As to the view that Britain should stay in the European Union and help to reform it, the kind of Europe needs Britain argument, when King Jehoshaphat in 2 Chronicles chapter 19 formed an alliance with the doomed King Ahab of Israel, he wasn't complimented for getting alongside the ungodly and helping to improve their spiritual status, but denounced. And Jehu the son of Hanani went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, Shouldst thou help the ungodly and love them that hate the Lord? Therefore is wrath upon thee, from before the Lord. For the United Kingdom to be secure, we need his blessing from following in his ways, not his wrath from an unholy alliance. Because unless the Lord keep the city, the security services watch in vain.